Hi everybody, just a quick update video. I realize I haven't actually, I think, shown off any painted miniatures in like three weeks. So here's a quick update on what I've been working on. And I got my uh, Wargamers Anonymous challenge here. So I'll start with this uh, character figure I've been painting. You might have seen him in my last uh, video where I got the little mail call. So this is the Robert the Bruce uh, figure from Footsore Miniatures. Uh, this I'm actually doing up as a gift for my sister. The livery on the shield, yeah, it looks pretty bad. But overall, I do quite like this, how this figure came out. I might redo the shield. Not 100% happy with it, but this is supposed to be Robert the Bruce from Scotland. Um, my sister is like really into him, the history around him. Uh, you know, actually with my sisters, I went to, uh, to Scotland and we went to the uh, the Robert Bruce Museum at um, the battle site, which is escaping my mind right off the top of my head, but they have like a kind of like a wargaming battle simulator thing there, which was pretty fun and Kind of actually got my sister interested in this stuff. We played a few games. She actually quite likes it. So, you know, I'm thinking about possibly doing some more Scots for her. I'll probably be the English. But yeah, for the most part, I do like how this came out. This is my first time p painting like a medieval knight kind of figure. Um, other than my Normans. But, you know, this guy's more like a true knight. So definitely I need to improve my livery skills. But otherwise, the figure was really fun to paint. I do really like the the surcoats over the mail and stuff. I think it looks awesome. So overall, pleased with the figure. Yeah, the freehanding needs work. I have some wrist problems anyway. So, um, you know, doing the freehand stuff is a challenge for me. Um, I'm kind of a, a loosey-goosey painter, and that stuff needs a lot of precision. So yeah, I've still got to varnish this guy up. So then, for my Wargamers Anonymous challenge, I did a unit of uh, Romans or Roman allies, uh, Polybian legionaries for to the strongest rules, and I actually ran out of uh, flocks, so sat at grass, so I couldn't quite finish the basing, but I'd consider this unit done and uh you know it'll be a small thing just add some flock when i get some some in so 26 figures in total for this unit counting the casualty and into the to the strongest rules um polybian legionaries have their own kind of very specific uh you know unit special rules and everything so they're actually kind of like three small units into one uh, you have the, and, um, you know, they have three hit points. They count as a deep unit. You got the Hestadi at the front, and I like to, this is the way I've been doing all my Romans, my uh, Republican Romans, mid-Republican Romans, is I like to have the uh, Hestadi as a clump together. And I was thinking I'd do a little bit more of a rant on Republican Romans, but, um, I like to have the Hastati in one group together, so you can tell that's the Hastati base. And then uh, in the rule set, um, they can, there's this kind of rally activation that goes on to rally off the hit. The Hastati move to the back of the box, to the strongest is a, a grid base system. And then you have the Principes. Uh, in the next base and I like to do my principes in kind of two groups like this on the base and that's kind of you know it's kind of representing like the Hastati uh, falling back through the gaps uh, in the unit you know and obviously this unit is representing like thousands of troops on the actual battlefield so yeah these are not supposed to be like individual maniples or I guess it's more, you know, what I'm trying to get at is more of like the flavor of the unit rather than like a strict one-to-one -one representation because really with 20 millimeter stuff, unless you're literally going to have like 
thousands of miniatures on the field. You cannot really represent maniples very well at all. And uh, yeah, I might do kind of a rant on that. And actually, uh, Robert the Bruce's livery, I think, looks a little better from a distance here. But um, right in the background there. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look too bad from like three feet away. But anyways, yep, and then the unit can do another rally activation and the Principes fall to the back and the Triarii are in the front. And yep, these are all Aventine miniatures I really do like the standard and hopefully uh, you can kind of see it, but it's like uh, a skull and a helmet and then this, uh, you know, armor plates and stuff, which is kind of uh, reminiscent of some uh, artwork. Italian ancient Italian artwork where they have warriors like hanging captured uh, pan panoplies on um, spears and stuff and capturing uh, armor was like a big part of, of Republican Roman uh, warfare uh, Yep, yeah, and then also in the rule set uh, you can choose at the beginning of the game to detach the uh, tri area tri area from the uh, the unit as a whole to kind of represent, um, you know, like Scipio Africanus uh, did man some maneuvers like that um, during his campaigns in Spain, or uh, you know, like it kind of Scipioi when some units were detached and uh, hit the Macedonians in the flank. For the shields, I saw these, um, and you know, I haven't seen anyone else use them, but they're like. You know, they're kind of like these graffiti shields. And uh, these guys are going to be represent veterans. Um, you know, and they have these kind of explicit messages on them. Like, you know, fuck this. Or, um, your mother uh, sucks off dolls, Celts. Um, yeah, it's been uh, like 10 years since I took Latin, so I don't remember all of it but uh those were some that i translated um you know fuck this pig <laughs> on some of these shields i did more the tri area more of the um the horse shields you know they're a little more dignified they don't have uh, as many of the explicit messages that's a polanus Malere, well, Poinus is uh, what the Romans called the, the Carthaginians, Punics, or uh, Phoenicians. So yeah, I like this, the way this unit came out, and that was my uh, Wargamers Anonymous submission. These guys have been taking me way too long. I'm way behind on my painting schedule. You know, I really, to finish my World War I stuff, I just got to base my British and paint the bases, you know, paint the bases, varnish them, and finish the cavalry. Just a couple more colors left on the cavalry. I've been distracted. I need to finish those. I'll do a full showcase when those are done, uh, which I really need to do. And then we'll get on to the Seleucid end of year challenge. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice time. And, uh, you know, we've actually had some really nice weather, so that's been distracting from my painting too. I've been spending some time over by the lake so I'll include some pictures of that too but yeah now that's getting colder um, if I can get my work done on time which I've been bad about uh, you know I was up to like 3 a.m. last night finishing work so um, you know if I can manage my schedule a little better maybe I'll, I'll get some more painting done all right so take it easy guys bye